and welcome to another Equestrian The Game video. Now, I've been logging in pretty much daily to collect the office rewards and just get my daily rewards, and I've been upgrading things here and there. The main thing I focused on was getting the horse trailer max upgraded so that I could get the best horses. Now, by the time you'll be seeing this video, that it will be global launch so you probably have been playing it tell me what you've been thinking of the game in the comments below i'll talk a little bit more about an updated review afterwards but let me know what you think of this game in the comments so I didn't realize this, but I sold Jericho because he was a low level and I always intended to recreate him at the max level. And um, somebody else bought my Jericho. There's this comment here that said, you know, is this your Jericho? And I was like, yeah, it's probably him. I couldn't remember the exact stats, but apparently if you sell a horse, it goes to a global market. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I just picked up two random horses, Beauty and Eagle. Eagle, I, I don't know. They were just some high statted horses that I wanted to compete with. I really don't enjoy competing. That I don't like it. I make too many mistakes because I'm I'm silly. Right, so we'll just jump into it because today we're here to recreate horses. Uh, not recreate horses, sorry, but buy my dream horses. So the three I think I'll be creating today will be Jericho, Dave, and maybe Sporkle. I know that there isn't like a Palomino paint color, but that is okay. I feel like we'll we'll make do with something. So this is a level 10 creator horse. So for 90 gold, which by the way, this game is incredibly expensive if you end up buying gold. It's ridiculous. Uh, I haven't enjoyed that aspect of the game at all, but that's fine. Right, so uh, Swedish Warmblood, Arabian Horse, Welsh Club. Uh, oh, should we start with a Frisian? Because we've got Dave, he's a Frisian horse. I know he's a Frisian sport horse, but there isn't that option. So we'll just go with a straight Frisian. So, wow, some really, really great options here. I think Dave is slightly more blue. Or maybe I should just go with the matte black. I'll just go with the standard black. Okay, no head markings. And we've only got one mane and tail style. Wow, this is the very in-depth decisions I have to make here. Gosh, the blue eyes look a bit scary, don't they? I think I'll just return that to dark, dark black brown. And let's be real, Dave is a tall boy. I think most of the horses I'll be making today are quite tall, because I do like my tall horses. So I feel like Dave is going to be pretty easy going. Um, I feel like he's not hot blooded. Yeah, I want him kind of on the cool, calm side. The horse is a balanced mix of energy and calm. Maybe actually I'll make him, because that's lazy, isn't it? We don't want him to be lazy. So th I think that's fine. So now we get to pick the traits. So um, the main defining trait is the horse's strongest characteristic. So athletic, we've got charismatic, jumping prospect, positive, and swift. I think Dave would probably be charismatic. I feel like, and that's a good thing for a Frisian to be as well. So then we can have a look at secondary traits. So we've got brave, cranky, happy-go-lucky, joker, proud, and spooky. I think we'll go for happy-go-lucky um, for his performance. Actually, maybe I should go for joker. Maybe maybe a joker would be better. A fast line at the balls easily and comes up with shenanigans. Maybe, yeah, no, actually I'll make him a joker. Why not? Uh, for his another secondary trait, we've got alert, bulky, so I think this is his build. Careful, uh, light step, overstep, uphill counter, uh, yeah, uphill counter, rhythmic, and persistent. Uh, stubborn mind that keeps the horse from giving up. I quite like that one. I feel like Dave would be persistent. And this is a general stat, so we can't choose the two uh, super cold-blooded or super hot-blooded. So we'll go with, so we've got ambi ambitious, sensitive, tough, balanced, clever, or dramatic. I think we'll go for clever. I feel like Dave would be clever. Uh, so we've got charismatic, joker, persistent, and clever for his stats or his characteristics. He's a tall boy and he's a very, I mean, he's a Frisian. We don't have much, um, much other ones. So he's a stallion and his name will be Dave. I assume I could change it afterwards because I feel like his m m name might need a bit more to it. Maybe I should put Dave Pinehaven and then, yeah, because then, then you know it's, then you know it's my horse. In, in case there's a lot of Daves out there, I'll put Dave Pinehaven. Um, so that is his certificate, wonderful. All right, so here we have Dave. I just bought a Dave. Now, if I'm correct, I think on the 14th of June, breeding will be open. I don't know how breeding works. I haven't really been following uh, Questioning the Game on social media, but I'll be interested to see what exactly we can do. Is this him here? Dave! Oh, what a cutie pie. Let's see what his, um, right, so he's 678 stats, which is quite good, I believe. But we've got a lot of training to do, which I, I absolutely despise doing. I genuinely despise training in this game. 
Uh, I don't like mobile games. I don't like having to look at this tiny little screen for too long. Um, so we're not done with the creating today. We have yet another horse to create, and I think we'll go with the top tier Jericho. So you saw in the beginning um, of this, I guess, series, I'll probably do more videos on this game. Uh, I did make Jericho, but he needed to be replaced because he was not very good at much. Uh, so we'll go ahead and choose, hmm, that's, is that too dark maybe? Oh, I don't like that mane. I can't actually remember what the original, oh, that's close. I think I'll go with that one. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that one. So he has no head markings, fat sad. He does have socks, however. So I'll give him little itty bitty socks. I don't think they're too tall, but I, I'll actually maybe stretch them to make them a bit taller because I like my socks on horses, I won't lie. So his main style is short and I'll just leave his tail style as the, the natural. Oh, but the natural tail looks so bitty and stringy. So I'll leave him with the hazel brown eyes as well. Uh, he is a, a very tall boy as well. So he's probably gonna be, yeah, I think uh, maybe, maybe a little bit, a tiny bit shorter than um, Dave. But yeah, he is a very hot-blooded horse. Uh, horse. So we've got high-spirited. This horse has a lot of energy and needs a lot of, um, and needs a confident rider to stay focused. So um, for his main, his main one, I think I'll give him Swift because I feel like Jericho. Well, Jericho in the role play was originally a racehorse. Uh, he wasn't fast enough to stay a racehorse, but uh, I'm like. I'm trying to think of like if I'm actually going to be playing this game, what is actually going to help me here? Because I feel like Jericho is going to be my main horse. So maybe we'll either go with jumping or athletic. Maybe I won't go with speed because I personally don't like speed that much. Oh, I don't know. No. Okay, how about we go for naturally gifted jumper? I feel like that'll help uh, help me more. So we've got brave, spooky, cranky, happy-go-lucky, joker, or proud. Unfortunately, Jericho can be a little bit spooky. A notoriously anxious disposition, making it prone to run away from scary encounters. I mean, Jericho doesn't run necessarily. He is quite proud though. I, I can't make him too positive because that's what Sporkle's kind of going to be. Uh, okay, how about we just... He's not brave, I feel like. I think he's cranky. Uh, yeah, I I'll actually put him as cranky because he sometimes he can get in quite a mood. Alert, bulky, uh, light step, careful. Overstep, uphill canter, sprinter, rhythmic, persistent. Hmm, I think, I don't know for this one actually. Actually, okay, well we'll put sprinter here because I did say that he was quite fast. Um, so we can pick eccentric. This horse has a lot of energy and uh, is very active. It may behave erratically, but will also recover energy faster. Other than that, I, th oh, I mean, Jericho is tr quite dramatic. Tendency pr to perform better in good form and even worse in bad. So it's between dramatic and eccentric. I feel like Jericho doesn't have that much energy. I feel like he is more dramatic than anything else. So we'll go with dramatic. Um, and other than that, let me just check through here. Is this definitely the coat that we want? It does seem like that's the best option that we've got. Uh, it isn't perfect, but it's the one I think that we'll definitely be going with. So here is our Jericho. He's extremely hot-blooded and he's got some quite interesting interesting stats here okay we'll go with next here is Jericho we'll name him Jericho oh it's not in caps there we go and he's a stallion as well so we've got two stallions so far this is the thing is I don't know how the breeding will work so I don't know whether it's important for me to have mares that I can breed with myself or if I'm going to be putting my studs up for like public breeding I don't know what the situation there is but here is Dave and here is Jericho looking schnazzy I love him right okay he's 680 I think he's slightly more than Dave because Dave is yes he is he's two more than Dave so our final uh, horse for today will be Sporkle. Now, I know I tried at the beginning of uh, or the first episode to make a Sporkle and I couldn't. So, we, I, I don't know what to do here entirely if I should be making a Sporkle, but other than Nikita, which is actually Queasy's horse, I don't actually own any mares uh, other than Sporkle. And I know that Queasy's already got Nikita, so it'd be unfair for me to just yoink that horse from her. So I think I'll go with an Arabian. Um, and honestly, 
I don't think they even have like a Palomino, which is gonna be a bit of a, a pain in the bum. Oh, this is gonna be so annoying. Okay, I don't think we've got, is Bokko's not white? I'm not making a white horse. Is that really the best that we've got? Oh, they need more Arabian colors. This is, this is ridiculous. Oh, that's so ugly. Okay, uh, how about, what do we do here? I mean, I guess I could put something like that on her and then make her socks really high. Okay, that, that's actually not looking too bad. I mean, what is this? Okay, we I don't like the crescent moon. I've never liked the crescent moon face. Oh, I kind of like the stripe. Oh, I don't like I kind of like the big fat stripe. Okay, so this is, to me, this will be like B-Tex Borkle. Like, if there isn't a, a Palomino paint to choose from, I'll just go with this. I mean, there was, I'm not getting a Welsh pony. And I, I think the fjords are cute, but I don't think they're for me. So this Arabian might be my next best thing. Oh, oh, that one's actually, this one's better actually. And she doesn't have a white mane, but she's got quite a light mane. So many decisions. I feel like, <sighs> see the thing is this Sporkle has really light blonde hair. That's almost too dark, but I don't like the look of that too much. Nah, okay, we'll just go for the super light then. Right, ha let's have a look at her eyeballs. I think she does have two blue eyes, which is, does she? I think so. I'm just going to say that she does. So she's not a huge horse. We'll put her at maybe 14.3 hands, maybe 15. No, actually, we'll put her at 14.3. Yeah, why not? 14.3. So she's not massive, but she is relatively big. So uh, I think Sporkle, I think she will be slightly more on the hot blooded end because uh, she is an Arabian after all. But for her defining traits, we've got. I think she would be charismatic. <gasps> positive. It's gotta be positive. Her, my mascot is literally just stay positive, so she's gotta be positive. Um, brave, maybe? Brave or proud? Or happy-go-lucky? Yeah, I feel like she's happy-go-lucky. I'll go with happy-go-lucky. Uh, for her performance, um, perhaps we will go with... Maybe we should do a light step. I feel like Sporkle is quite graceful, so we'll go with a light step. Um, ambitious, I feel like it could be ambitious, tough, clever, dramatic. It'll either be between ambitious or clever. Maybe we'll make her ambitious, because that's what I always strive for. So we'll go for ambitious. So we've got positive, happy-go-lucky, lucky, light step, and ambitious. One thing I missed, though, was the hair. Hmm, Sporkle's got quite a fabulous mane. A bit like this, actually, but I hate the way that looks in this game. This is much nicer. And then having like the braided tail as well. Oh, she looks so shaggy. Oh no, oh come on. All right, since we're not staying super true to the real Sporkle, I'll just go with this because it looks better than the other two. So yeah, okay, okay. I'm not gonna complain anymore, but yeah. <laughs> I just, the thing with this game is it had so much potential graphically and I just feel like it, it's not, it's not great. So um, we'll go ahead and put Sporkle Pinehaven. There we go. And she's she is a met. Okay. So I'm not sure if oh uh, I've just realized. Will they will they be allowing crossbreeds? Hmm. Because if not, I've not got any horses to breed to each other. That's annoying. Okay, that's fine though. So we've got Dave Pinehaven, Jericho Pinehaven, and she's not here. Hang on. Where is she? My table's too big. I regret getting a stable this big. Here she is, Sporkle Pinehaven. This is a very pretty horse, actually. I like the fact that I made her like that. So these two are very talented. I think Eagle is a little bit more talented than Beauty. I was riding Beauty and she was like a pain to ride. I don't know if it's her like mentality. But so that is basically that. But I just wanted to give kind of like, actually, why don't we take one of the horses? for a ride while I have a chat. So my thoughts on this game in general are, it, it has potential, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it kind of is inconsistent in a lot of ways. Like if you have been doing a lot of competitions, I found that the controls are a bit of a hit or miss. Um, sometimes it'll activate me jumping when I am just horizontal on the reins or it'll not activate my jump um, even though I have pulled the reins all the way up. Um, the striding for the jumps can be really weird. Like you can get the bar a full like five or six seconds before or it'll hit dead on green when your horse is just about to touch 
the jump. So I feel like it's just really inconsistent. It makes uh, competitions really frustrating to do. The uh, training system is so grindy and so, so boring. I don't know if it's just because I had, you know, relatively easy horses. Maybe I'll enjoy training these guys more. But I just found that, like, <laughs> I just didn't enjoy doing it. And again, I'm only spending maybe 10 minutes per day, maybe a little more on, uh, and I've been doing this pretty much daily on the game. And as, and I'd say that's like a strictly casual sort of gaming. It's not really enjoyable that much, uh, which is really disappointing. But I think if you're a hardcore, really into this game, and you wanna train all your horses and you wanna get to the top of that championship, I feel like it can be really fun uh, if you're into that kind of stuff. But genuinely, I think the, the graphics are not good enough to really enjoy trail riding. Also, the graphics aren't good enough to, for me to do like photography on because I feel like all of the environment looks super flat. Uh, if the horse's mane isn't up in a plat, um, then it looks really stringy and bad. The, the, I mean, the characters look pretty bad as well. Uh, but I think that's enough of the negatives. I'm gonna say the parts that I do like. I like the upgrading systems because it made me wait for my money. And if I wanted to get the money quicker, I'd have to compete, which I did enjoy doing. I like the fact that it gives me a lot of st uh, stable space. I enjoy that a lot. I haven't entirely figured out the like system of the horses and like what works best or um, how to train them most effectively, but I have enjoyed popping on every now and again and collecting my my cash but yeah i think this game has a lot of work to do i'll be really interested to see when the breeding comes out because that'll be when i think it might be a game changer if they do it correctly but as of right now there's not too much to do on the game i don't really care for high scores i don't really care for competition based things um but again that's just me maybe this game just isn't made for me or, or the audience that um relates to me but that's fine as well again i'm not saying that this game is awful uh, i'm literally just saying that at the minute it's a little bit underwhelming for the hype that was created around it but I'm very interested to see what will come in the future and yeah I'm just don't take this as me just hating on the game because I do enjoy playing this game I just think it could be so much better than it currently is and uh, one other thing I'll point out is the prices are far too expensive far 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 too expensive I have already spent like 70 pound on this game and I have almost nothing to show for it so uh those prices are quite steep so be prepared to to fork out some money um but yeah other than that i really do hope that this game improves and continues to give us more maybe one day a pc version i i know i'd be more than happy to support the development of that but we'll have to see so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye